The engines quickly got to work. Stanley puffed away to pick up some decorations from Wellsworth. Gordon and Emily puffed to Brendam Docks to pick up the guests for the party. While the fat controller went to the Cellador Cafe with Peter to make Thomas's cake, Percy had to stop at a junction. He had just shunted Annie and Clarabelle. Then, Percy heard voices from him outside the cafe. It was the fat controller and he was talking to Peter. They were making Thomas's cake for the party, but Percy didn't know about the party or the cake. Percy tried not to listen, but he couldn't help himself. I knew this would happen, said the fat controller sternly. My first attempts always turn out to be disasters. I don't know what a big deal is, sir, said Peter. I think that's okay. Okay, look at it. His buffers are all crusty. His boil is barely perfect, and his face, ugh, Thomas is just awful. We'll just have to get a new one. Oh my goodness, gasped Percy. A fat controller wants to scrap Thomas. I can't tell Thomas that. I must stop him. And he raced away, but he didn't know that they were talking about Thomas's cake. Thomas steamed along the countryside with Annie and Claribel. The signal was green and he was right on time. He really wants to make a good impression for the railway inspector. Thomas arrived at the docks. He looked all around for someone important. But all he could see was the dock manager with a hooked arm and a man in a white shirt with a ball on the shirt, half green and half red. Ah, Thomas, there you are, said Sally. This is Mr. Carruthers in a white shirt, said Lightning. He is here to see how they're doing on the island, he added. Hello, said Thomas. Hmm, <laughs> said Mr. Carruthers, and he wrote a few things in his notebook. We've already inspected Brendam Dots, said Lightning, and we told him about a funny facts that happened in the past. Do you remember the time when he forced Ben onto the broken tracks, Thomas? Thomas gasped. He was hoping no one would speak of this trick. It was while he was staying on Edward's branch line while this line was being mended. Bill and Ben wouldn't stop teasing Thomas until one day Thomas plotted revenge. Bill I mean, Ben told Thomas that he can't go to the docks because of the broken traps. Thomas called Ben the scaredy engine, and to prove that he isn't, Ben raced along the line to the docks, and he came off the rails himself. <laughs> Thomas was mummied. Mr. Columbus kept making notes about how I messed up on the special, thought Thomas. If a fat controller finds out, he's going to want to scrap me. I must keep a railway inspector away from McLean and Sally until after the inspection. The railway inspector climbed on board Annie and Clarabel, and Thomas steamed away, feeling worried. Thomas puffed through the countryside. But he was worried about Percy. He didn't know what to tell him if he knew he was going to be sent to the scrapyard. Then Thomas gasped. He slammed on his brakes and stopped just in time. The trap was blocked with derailed trucks. Thomas reversed back and there was Percy. What happened Percy? Are you alright? He asked. Those traps are being troublesome protested Percy, trying to make an excuse. He caused a blockage to delay Thomas. And they came off the tracks. It will take a while to clean up the mess. But I need to get going, protested Thomas impatiently. I've got a railway inspector on board, and if I'm not back by four o'clock, the fat controller will be cross. I'm sorry, Thomas, protested Percy. There is no way you can get through. Looks like you'll just have to sit tight. Great. Now I'm sure to be scrapped, Thomas muttered to himself crossly. Mr. Columbus climbed out of the coaches. 
The destination they were at were at Mayfrate Yards. McQueen and Sally told the inspector all about the jobs the engines do around the yard and about a funny time that Thomas crashed into some coaches while having a race with Tom. Thomas hissed steam impatiently as he rated. He couldn't bear to listen to any more stories. He didn't like rating. He had to show the railway inspector the whole island. Otherwise, he thought, I will be late and a fat control will think I'm not useful. He looked at the blocked track. I'm sure it can't be that blocked, Thomas huffed to himself. Then he had an idea. Yeah, that might work. <laughs> My medicine will, there's some way, that's what I always say. Time to go, he tooted. Mr. Columbus made a few more notes in his notebook and climbed back on board Annie and Clamabel, unaware that Thomas is up to something. Next stop, Armour Valley Yard, shouted Lightning as he left away. You best take a different track, Thomas, called Sally. There's no way you can get through this mess. And she drove off. I'm not going to take a different route, Thomas sniggered to himself. He waited until the cars had gone. Then, he reversed back up the line. And around the bend, then came to a stop. Then, he puffed quickly back down the line, and he pushed the trucks out of the way, and on his way again. Trapped! Double trapped! Puffed Percy crossly. I'll have to make a better delay plan for this one next time! <laughs>